all my video viewers. Today I'm going to introduce you to a great brand that I had the privilege of doing some product photos for just a little while ago called Miss Foo Foo Von Lady Garden. They sent me some really great products including this amazing cherry necklace that I pretty much put on with anything that I can get away with. It grabs a lot of attention, gets a lot of compliments. It's a great wardrobe um, add-on piece that just really pops and gives your outfit so much flair. And that's what's so great about Miss Foo Foo Von Lady Garden is that everything that they offer is such high quality. It's got such personality. So many fun things that you could add to your own accessory um, wardrobe that you have. They offer a lot of pinup and rockabilly style hair products. Um, jewelry, fun hair bandanas, a sleep masks, lots of really cool things. It's a great website to check out right now during the holiday season because you can probably pick up quite a few of the gifts that you need for any of the gals in your life and I know that they would love anything that you choose. I don't think that there was one thing on their website that I wouldn't purchase for myself. Um, they have a website and they also have a Facebook page. I'm going to hold this a little close. www.missfufuvonladygarden.com you can also find their Facebook link on their website or you can just go to facebook.com slash Garden. They sell a lot of really great stuff. I'm going to show you how to do some really fun hairstyles with one of their main products that they sell. They do really fun, lots of different patterns and colors to choose from these hair bandanas. Now one of the main questions that I was asked when I was doing my vintage doll does Rosie the Riveter look was how do I tie the bandana? How do I fold it? Which way do I roll it? Corner to corner. That's the great thing about these is all of those are answered. You don't have to worry about any of it. It's already pre-sewn. It's at a great um, width. So it does up to you so you can leave your hair down with it. But if you like it a little thinner, all you have to do is fold it in half. It's awesome. You throw it in your purse, your bag. Um, you can just wrap it around your head, go out the door. Um, a lot of times, being a mom, I don't have a lot of time to do my hair but I still like to carry on my style through my hairstyles. So um, that's what's great about these is that they really express the pinup and rockabilly vibe without taking tons and tons of time like Victory Rolls does. So I'm going to show you a few ways to um, use these. Now it's important because you don't just tie these like regular bandanas. With a regular bandana you tied it in a knot and you're good to go. With these you want to be a little bit more conscious on how you tie them because um, you don't want to just hide it in a knot because it'll look messy. So I'm going to show you first simple down do. All you're going to do is you're going to put it under your hair like so. Now all I've done is curled my hair with my straightener in an outward um, direction to kind of just give me this wavy Betty. It's kind of the way you guys usually see my hair in my personal pictures. So you're going to put it under, make sure that it's even, and you're going to make sure that your points are at the top and the slant goes downward. That's important for when you tie it. Um, now I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to tie it right here at the base of my bangs. So your bangs are going to be up front and center, so make sure that you got as clean a line as possible. If you're anything like me, you're really picky about that. <laughs> so we're just going to bring it up and around like this, up and around. All right now, when you get up to the top, you are going to bring the one on the right side over the front like this and under. It's going to be your first tie, like so. And it's going to look like this, just really um, simple. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the front one with your right hand, the back one with your left hand. You're going to wrap the front one over and behind the one in the back, like so, over, behind. Then you're going to pull it through the little knot. Very simple, very easy. Now what that does is that creates this little cover in the front. So you don't just have a regular knot, you have that cute little cover in the front. And it's very simple. Done and done. You have your hair scarf tied. Very quick and easy. Now another thing that you can do is I'm going to show you. You tie it the same way. If the knot is going to be in the front, you tie it the same way with every hairstyle. It doesn't matter what you do. If you wrap it around your victory rolls or whatever you like. I'm going to do some quick kitten ears for you to show you that version. Now, this is my signature style that I started doing when I first got involved with the lifestyle because I couldn't do victory rolls because they're very hard. I just recently learned how to do them and I did that video for you ladies. So, what you're going to do 
is you're going to take a triangle section of hair. You're going to go right behind your ear. That's where you're going to stop. You don't want too much hair. They could be too heavy if you have really long hair like mine. Part down the middle. Then you're just going to twist them inward like that. Twist them in. And then bump them up. And bobby pin them. Shannon Fatal is going to be so mad at me if she sees this video and I'm still doing my bobby pins with my teeth. <laughs> Alright. Do the same one. On this side, like so, twist it in and bump it up. Quick, simple hairstyle that gives off that real fun, vintage feel without taking the time that um, Victory Rolls does. So then you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to take your headscarf and you are going to wrap it around, tie it the exact same way. That's going to give you a really fun kind of sweeter um, look to it. Oops. Not even. All right. So remember, front over back and under. Pull it. And around. There you go. So then there is your Next one, really cute and simple. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do an updo with this. Um, it's going to be kind of an easier Rosie the Riveter because you don't have to roll your bandana. So I'm going to show you just a really quick, um, I'm just going to put my hair up in a bun. The best way to do your hair with this style is going to be the same way you do your Rosie. That way you have all the curls at the top. But I'm just going to wrap mine around and put it up real quick. So however you like to do your hair up, go ahead and do it that way. Use a couple of little hair clippies here. All right. Hold on, I have a battery dismissal. All right, so now we're going to, you can either do it over or under. You can do it this way and give it a real fun vintage look and tie it underneath. And then it still has that real fun and then you got the little tails at the back. So it's still real vintage and fun, real cute. Or you can do it this way. Same way, same tie. But it, uh, if you do, if you put your hair up properly, it kind of covers all that and has a real cute, uh, rosy look. All right. And then that's just a real cute um, updo. This is the one that I do when it's like raining or it's humid outside. Or um, I wake up and I still have kind of curls in my hair, but I don't have enough time to really style it because your curls kind of fall and look kind of cruddy, but you don't want to have to redo it. So this is always a quick, fun one. And it goes with a lot of stuff. And with um, Miss Poo Poo Von Lady Garden, they have so many of these to choose from. You can get tons of them with your um, to match everything in your wardrobe. So next... I'm going to show you one more, and it's going to be really fun, and I'm going to incorporate one more fun accessory. Now this is kind of uh, an edgier, kind of rockabilly girl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tease my hair so it has some height behind the bandana. All right, I'm going to leave you for a minute. going to be cousin it for a few seconds. But just go on ahead and tease um, your hair all around because what you want is you want it to be big. Big and curly. Doesn't matter what color you have, what style you have, just curl your hair and tease it. If you don't have Betty bangs, um, bumper bangs are great. Um, you could do a little pomp and then tie it right at the base of your pomp. I remember... I used to rock the bang pomp a lot before I got brave enough to cut off my bangs. Now I will never go back. Or um, when my hair was all one length, I would bring my bangs over, comb them real smooth, swoop them down, pin them, and then hide the pin with my bandana, and I would have like faux Betty bangs. So that's always a fun one too. You can find that in a lot of my first pictures that I did. 
All right, so you just want big hair. That's what we're after here. Big Betty hair. Fabulous, okay, I'm going to take a polka dot one. I love polka dots. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. So you just kind of, it doesn't have to be like real flat. I mean, it can be if you want it to, but I kind of crinkle mine up. And then I'm going to go under everything. So, go under, 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 under. And then I'm going to tie it underneath. This kind of gives you a fun, girly, rockabilly look. And then you just kind of tie it in a knot underneath. And then put your hair over it. And then that one's really fun too. You could do pigtails underneath that. Do little pigtails or whatever you want, but it really helps you express your rockabilly side. But those are just some fun, um, quick, simple, easy ways to do the Miss Foo Foo Von Lady Garden hair bandana, how to tie it properly so you don't have a messy knot in the middle. And then if you would like, you can take an adorable hair bow. This is also by Miss Foo Foo. I love the little extra cherry detail that they added. And then you just kind of put it onto the side of your bandana and you're good to go ladies. You could go anywhere. Movies, date night, or if you're like me, the grocery store. <laughs> but those are some really fun ways that you can um, incorporate Miss Foo Foo Von Lady Garden signature hair bandanas into your own look. I hope that you ladies enjoyed this. I want to start doing some more videos for you. It's hard with Ben because he's always beating on the door. I believe this is the 12th video I've made today. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, you can always message me on my page or you could send me an email at theonlyvintagedoll at gmail.com. It's the best way to contact me. I usually respond to emails ASAP. Um, but if you comment under the video, I tend to miss it because I only have my phone right now. So, But I hope you ladies enjoyed this and I will talk to you all soon.